Uh, here I have another battery that I uh, just finished for the GoPad ESR750 um, type and it's lithium ion. Uh, this battery is for Marcus, so here it is um, completed and wrapped in heat shrink. And here we have the balancing process. I just plugged it in, and uh, as you can see, it needs to balance. That's 3.6 between 6.5 and 6.7 and 70 or 7 cells is balancing right now so I'll keep it there for maybe a couple uh, maybe like 15 or 20 minutes just to give it some juice uh, the cells uh, came initially at 3.6 volts so they probably have like 30-40% charge uh, I'm not sure maybe more maybe less but uh, this is the battery I recently made and uh, hopefully you get it soon Marcus and enjoy it on your GoPad uh, each cell has 2.9 amps so uh, let's see that's probably uh, probably give you over 25 mile in range uh, probably more than that depends on your weight and on the terrain so alright Micro so uh, here's a battery uh, hopefully we get in couple next couple of days it's and thinking uh, of making a tutorial on how to make uh, the cells and uh, I think uh, it's just going to confuse you guys more uh, but if you want to get uh, information uh, about uh, the cells how to make them you can go on www.batteryuniversity.com and just read for all that documentation and there's plenty of more websites that actually uh, give you instructions on how to build batteries chargers how to balance them with different chemistries how to plenty charge. of uh, YouTube videos that actually explain step by step how to make those batteries so uh, you just have to like go and research a little bit and uh, it's not complicated you have to be uh, precise and you have to either I solder the cells uh, but I'm thinking to try with the spot welding uh, I think spot welding it's uh, people say it's better but I don't, I don't you know I I didn't do it I don't know exactly but I think uh, it's not a big difference so I, when I saw that I tried to just go quickly and just keep the, the gun for like a second and a half, two seconds, not more than that. And I use very high quality solder, so uh, uh, it works perfectly. I have cells that I use for over two years and they're still uh, running well. So I've been using Panasonic for the, uh, um, for the latest uh, yeah, a couple, maybe half a year, one year, over a year and a half, and uh, they're performing great. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next video.